Hi everyone, AG Dolls and Under here and welcome to me with my sick voice and my udi on because I have a really gross cold because it's the middle of winter here in Western Australia um, and I'm here to open another doll because I have a problem. Let's see how long my camera lasts. If it dies, I will split this video into multiple parts. But I'm joined by Samire because uh, this doll was actually purchased from the same person who I bought Samire from. Um, and long story short, I didn't realize it was the same person as I bought this doll on eBay. Um, and they messaged me on Instagram because, you know, they know my address. They recently sold me Samire. Um, so I am going to open up. They have included a note, but it does have my full name on it, so I won't be reading it on camera. An extra little bit that I just read on the note is something that is going to be really awesome to have as I have a pleasant company Samantha who doesn't have anything to wear from her own collection and this is Ooh, there's a couple things oh my goodness Selena you didn't have to okay so we have sparkle style spirit oh love this from the American Girl fashion show this is gonna be great on Samire Oh, this is the denim shirt from a Pleasant Company outfit. Ah, oh, this is awesome. OMG. And most importantly, there is a little bit of damage on the ribbon, but I'll survive. It's Samantha's Cranberry Holiday dress. Yee. OMG, I can't wait to put this on my Pleasant Company Samantha. This is so exciting. OMG, Selena, you didn't have to give me extras. Oh, all right, let's open her up. So I'm missing three face molds in my American Girl collection. I'm missing the Nanea mold, the McKenna mold, and the Corinne mold. And this is one of those. Now this is a custom doll who was already customized when I bought her. Which is very rare for me, usually I do the customizing. Have a see. Oh, she's cute. Let's take her hair off. Wow. Oh, her hair texture is so interesting. Her bangs are a little messy. Wow, she's cute. So this is my new girlie. So she is a Nanea. She does have the Nanea face paint with freckles and I think she's had her eyebrows touched up as well. And this is a wig that I believe is from a porcelain doll company. It's a like Albany color is what it was described as, but it's quite like caramelly. So this doll, her name is Clover, Clove for short, kind of named after the Hunger Games. And she looks so cute. OMG. Okay, I'm gonna have to dress her up hopefully in a couple days time when I actually have a voice again But for now, here's Clove She's so cute Um, It's another day. So this is Clove um, Full name Clover Clovey if I'm feeling fun and cool um, And she's wearing a dress made by my friend Christiania who is Sunflowers AG here on YouTube and gonna say it, the Nenea face mold's cute. Like, I wasn't super obsessed with it when it came out, but I'm kind of really trying to work on having all the face molds in my collection. Having Clove, I'm now two face molds away. I need a McKenna and a Corinne. Then that's collection complete until American Girl wants to take my money some more and buy more dots. <laughs> um, so yeah, couple thoughts. The ears on the Nenea mold have like a really long earlobe. She has really long earlobes. I don't understand why, but she does. <laughs> her face up is to die for. Uh, Selena, you did a great job customizing her. She has two different colored eyelids, which I don't care about. My dolls very rarely have their eyes closed. Um, yeah, so I think I mentioned it at the start of this video. Um, so this doll I purchased from Moon in Major on Instagram, uh, who is an Australian doll collector who I bought my, just like you number know four, Samire from. Um, and has become a really great Instagram friend and I really love chatting with Selena <clears throat> and like I'm so happy like two dolls now from an Australian collector who I like kind of know a little bit it's really really fun um, I did go through and recurl her hair so this is not how her wig looked originally um, I didn't boil wash it or anything I just 
brushed it and did like the brush twisting curls because I found finger curling it wasn't quite enough. Now it's been recurled, I think it can finger curl it. This is not an American Girl brand wig, I think it's a porcelain doll wig. Um, and I find on porcelain doll wigs the bangs are really far in front, kind of leaves like almost a mullet look, but if you put the curls in front it's okay. I think the colour's lovely on her. I think this is definitely going to be her permanent wig. Um, because her look is just so fun. She's like a very cohesive looking doll to me. Um, I think she's the kind of character who always wears short skirt, whether that be with tights or bare leg for different seasons. Um, and she likes layering. And warm colours look best on her. I tried her in something more blue recently and it didn't really suit her. So she does have a very cohesive look and half of that was my putting together and half of that was her opinions. Yeah, she's really cute. She's really cute. Um, well, what can I say other than if you are looking in the background of this video? Wow. Very exciting. I got Isabel's sewing studio. Um, I had a friend 3D print me a different sewing machine as um, this set that I got secondhand didn't come with one. Um, but I think I'm going to have to ask them to print it in a scale up. Um, it's a little bit, a little bit small. Yeah. I think it still works for display purposes. I just like probably need to double that size. But that's on me for not measuring things. Like they did a great job printing it and I was really appreciative of them for doing so. It comes with this dress form, which I love. Um, and all the different sewing accessories, the little scissors. Oh, that's so fun. Um, if you don't know, I sew as my job. So it's really exciting to have this kind of studio space because this room where my dolls are is my studio space. So my dolls in my studio have their own studio in the dollhouse. Uh, yeah. So this is Clove. How exciting. This is a pretty short video and that's okay. A little bit rambly. Um, I don't have much to say in this one, uh, other than sorry about the wait between videos. I just busy life stuff and that happens. So I'm never the kind of person who's going to stick to an upload schedule, even if I do my very best to. Um, I just find it's not sustainable for me to put a schedule on myself. Um, it's just, oh, cat wanted to come in. Yeah, it's not very sustainable to put a schedule on myself for something that's not like a life or death situation. So yeah, this is just for fun. So I'm just going to upload videos whenever and that's okay. But thank you for watching this one. Um, but I'll hopefully see you soon with um, some doll highlights. I think Raven has to be first because she was the first doll. Um, I'm not sure if I'll go in chronological order. I might just do it in whoever I feel like. So yeah, that's all. Bye.